Welcome to Daily News Updates by the Shipping Tribune. Here we bring to you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Freight Market Scenario by Segal Sea Trade on November 16th, the Asia Pacific Panamax freight rates were unchanged. The Asia Pacific Supermax freight rates were mostly stable. The Cape size freight rates moved higher. And the Pacific Handy size market freight trended lower. Baltic index rises on stronger vessel rates across segments. The Baltic Exchange's main sea freight index tracking rates for ships carrying driver commodities rose for the sixth consecutive session on Thursday as vessel rates gained across all segments. The overall index, which factors in rates for Cape Size, Panamax, and Supermax shipping vessels, gained 70 points or 4.2% to 1,758. The Cape Size index rose to its highest in three weeks, adding 90 points or 3.5% to 2,664. Growth in VLCC dirty ton days slowed to its lowest level of the year in the fourth quarter. In the third week of November, crude freight market sentiment recorded a decrease with VLCC AG to China rates holding a resistance for firmer levels. However, when looking at the demand side, there has been a further decrease in VLCC dirty ton days growth. In the clean segment, there has been a rather steady sentiment amid a weakening picture of the previous weeks, while demand does not yet still provoke signs of recovery. Overall, the fourth quarter of the year seems to evolve with the downward pressure on freight rates despite optimism for a winter demand boosting the rates. Before we move on to the rest of the news updates, I would like to inform you that the 10th India Tanker Shipping and Trade Summit is being organized on 9th of February 2024 in Mumbai and the venue will have limited seating capacity. So we request you to reserve your seat as soon as possible. Registrations will be done on a first come first serve basis. Asia Fuel Oil HSFO Cash Differentials Rebound Singapore Stocks Fall Cash differentials for high sulfur fuel oil rebounded on Thursday after inventories at Singapore's commercial hub declined to a six month low. Cargo differentials for 380 CST HSFO rose by about $2 to a discount of $2.98 per metric ton to Singapore quotes and 180 CST HSFO was also up by $2 to a discount of $0.34 cents per metric ton. Cash premium for 0.5% VLSF or MFO05 SI and DIF fell to $26.33 a metric ton from $27.75 in the earlier session. Bishaka Putnam Port handled record 50 million metric ton cargo in 228 days in financial year 2023-24. Vishaka Putnam Port has handled a record volume of 50 million metric tons of cargo in just 228 days in financial year 2023-24, surpassing its previous record of 50 million metric tons in 251 days in financial year 2022-23. The figures of the milestone achievement were put out in a press release issued by the Vishaka Putnam Port Authority on Wednesday. VPA Chairperson M. Angamuthu praised the efforts of VPA staff, officers and all stakeholders and exhorted them to maintain the same pace to reach the target fixed by the Shipping Ministry of 83 MMTPA for the year 2023-24 according to the release. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already.